guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it seems that I went through the entire video and I forgot to make an, an opening clip. So, we're going to do this backwards, I guess. Um, <laughs> nobody's perfect, right? Um, today we're going to finish working on the, um, the Gorg Lamp Part 2. We've got a lot of work to get to. Um, I've got to do a lot of the filigree work and I've got to dye it and get it ready for um, a lacquer. So, um, bear with me. It's It's been one of those days. But bear with me and we'll get to that footage, I promise. Okay. <clears throat> so I've come up with what design I wanted to make. And I went ahead and drew some lines in here. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to wood burn these lines in. And it's going to take just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little break in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do it. And Mark can speed it up just a little bit. So hang on. And I think I'm almost, almost hot enough here. But I'll go ahead and put a break in here. And then I'm going to start this. Hold on. Okay, now I've got my design in here and I've wood burned it. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this short filigree tip burr. Let's see, it's pretty pointed. Um, this is a little bit smaller one. Um, I have a bigger one on order. But these are a whole lot of fun. And um, when I get the bigger one here... Uh, I'm thinking I might do a video just on the wonderful things that these pointed burrs can do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and in these spaces, I'm going to filigree cut in a bunch of holes. And um, it's going to be a little loud with the Dremel and um, it's going to take a little while. So I'm going to put a break in here, that way Mark can speed it up and maybe put some music on it. And, um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got some of the holes carved in it, and it takes a little time. You gotta get in there and make sure you get all the holes completely clean as you go in, but that's a start, and I'm gonna go ahead and work on some more of this off camera because I know it takes an awful long time, so let me get a little bit more of this done, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to jump back in here for a second. Um, 
I had to switch the battery out on my Dremel. Let me show you some more of the filigree work. But I did a little bit smaller at the top and I did a little bit bigger in here. But I gotta get my battery switched out and I'll get some more done and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've got one section completely done. And um, I'll put another break in here. And um, when I do the next section, I'll film a bit of doing the bigger space. It's more open, and I think you'll be able to actually see what I'm doing a little bit better. So let me put a, a quick break in here, and then I'll start on the next section. But give me just a second. Okay, one thing to remember when you're doing these is let the burr do the work. Don't push it, let it do what it's made to do. Um, they get in there really quick and they're really easy, but don't push the, on the burr too hard. Just let it do most of the work. Um, it will save you some wear and tear on your hand. It will save you a little wear and tear on your Dremel. But... really easy to do and it's a whole lot of fun and um, I'm gonna get back to work I've still got this one to finish and I've got one more on the back side so give me a minute and I'll be right back okay now I've got all of the filigree work done should be all the way around it and that's where the lights gonna come through the gourd but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start into staining it. And I had originally thought about using a Merlot and honey. But I was thinking about using that one. But I think now I'm kind of leaning towards a blue. So I think I might go with this blue linen. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the carved parts first because they're smaller. But now if you use the gourd dies, you want to remember that a little bit goes a long way. So I've got a couple of small applicators and I've got a couple of pieces of cut felt and I'm just going to roll them and use them kind of like a paintbrush. But I'm going to put a little break in here and I'm going to do a little bit of it. That way you can see it being done. So give me just a second. Have the first blue one done. Now I'm going to start working on the other two while that one dries. 
So give me a few minutes and I'll be back to show you when they're all done. Okay, now I'm all done with the blue. And the only thing left is to fill in the big spots with the Merlot. And then we'll see what it looks like. So give me just a little bit to get the red Merlot in there and I'll be right back. Okay. So I have all the dyeing done. Let me turn it over here a little bit so you can see it. And we'll shut this leg off for a second. And we'll turn this one on. I'm sorry I can't make it any darker in here, but... There it is. Anyway, it's a whole lot of fun. It's a little time consuming, but I really enjoy it and it comes out so pretty. But the only thing that I have left to do is I'm going to let it dry overnight and then tomorrow morning I'm going to um, put a coat of lacquer on it to help seal the dye up and um i'll tomorrow morning after i get it lacquered and everything and get it dry i'll post a final picture on facebook um i don't really have much more time today to work on it but it's pretty much finished it just needs to dry and it needs a coat of lacquer so i'm going to leave it here and um once again i'll i'll post a picture of it completely finished tomorrow morning on facebook Okay, um, that's all the footage that I have for today, and I just wanted to say thank you for taking your time and spending your time with me today. Um, this is, I don't know, one of my favorite kinds of projects, and I like all of the, the delicate, intricate work on it. But, um, like I said in the last clip, I will finish it in the morning, and I'll post a picture up on Facebook. But I am glad that you took your time to spend some time with me today. And um, as always, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when we put out new videos. Um, if you have any comments or any questions, please go ahead and put them in the, in the little box below. We try to get to absolutely everything. Um, if we don't have an answer for you, we will most certainly find one. But, I gotta get running. I'm pretty dusty and I need a bath pretty bad and I change of clothes. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, love you guys and we'll see you in the next one.